Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG Podcast. My name is Drew Blackston, and today we are talking about four things that you need to know, four numbers that you need to know before you retire. Now listen, if you're watching this and you have already retired, this is a great video or podcast to forward to your friends and family who are getting ready to retire. And wait, I've got some information in this podcast and video for you, so make sure you hang with me for four numbers that you need to know before you retire. Thank you so much for listening to the Your Financial EKG podcast and watching on YouTube. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Thank you so much for listening on Apple and Google Podcasts, Spotify, watching on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening on or watching. Make sure you leave your comments, your questions, and please like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. That helps me get this video out to more retirees that I can help. So let's talk about numbers that you need to know before you retire. Starting with number one, the first thing that you need to know before you retire is what are my social security payments going to be? Because you have many options when it comes to your social security, but you really only have one shot to make the right choice. So before you retire, if you're retiring at 50, you're retiring at 55, if you're asking the question, can I retire at 60, you want to know what your Social Security payments are going to be at 62, what your Social Security payments are going to be at full retirement age, that might be 66 in a few months or 67, and you want to know what your what your Social Security benefit would be at 70. This way you can plan your retirement income accordingly. Let me give you a great example. Let's say you're wanting to retire at 55. Well, if you retire at 55, you're going to have to use your retirement assets, your retirement savings, in order to kind of bridge the gap until you get to Social Security. So maybe if you find out that your Social Security is not going to be what you think it should be at 62 and you're going to wait to 67 and you're asking yourself, can I retire at 55? Now you know you have a 12-year gap before you start taking Social Security. So then it might kind of realign, should I retire at 55 or should I retire at 60? Should I retire at 55 for my full-time job and start working part-time? Just to kind of make up the expenses. And that's why you want to know what your Social Security payments are going to be at 62, 67, and 70. And you really only have one shot. Because if you choose to take your Social Security at 62 and then at 64 you go, oh man, I should have made a different choice, the only way to make a change is in that first year when you start taking Social Security within the first 12 months. And here's the kicker. You basically have to pay back everything the Social Security Administration has paid you. So this is not an option that you want to go with. You want to know what are my Social Security payments going to be at 62 67 and 70 so that you can plan your retirement income accordingly and you can plan your retirement income strategy. Okay, so the first number that you want to know before going into retirement, what are my social security payments going to be at 62, 67 and 70? The second number you want to know before you get into retirement, what are my pension start dates and survivors benefits? Now, for 85% of you listening to this podcast, and it's probably actually a higher number, it might even be 90% of you listening to this podcast, watching on YouTube, you will not get a pension. You're not, you don't work for the federal government, you don't work for a state municipality, maybe you didn't serve in the military, you have a 401k, a 403b, uh, an IRA, a Roth IRA. You do not work for a company that's going to pay you a pension. Pensions really went away when 401ks started to become popular and it removed the risk from the company, right? They were paying out pensions to retirees for 15, 20, 30 years. And instead they said, oh, we're just going to give you a 401k and that way we don't have this liability for the next 20 or 30 years. But 
If you do have a pension from the federal government, maybe you served in the military, thank you so much for your service. I really appreciate it. Maybe you're a police officer, a firefighter, an EMT. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for what you do. You probably get a pension. Maybe you work for the federal government, you get a pension. Here's what you need to know. When can my pension start? Can it start at 60? Can it start at 65? And what about survivor's benefits? Let's start with point number one. When can the pension start? Let's go back to the first example. If you're asking yourself, can I retire at 55? You gotta know, when am I gonna start taking Social Security? And when's my pension gonna start? If your pension doesn't start till 65, and you're not gonna take Social Security to 67, you have a 10 and a 12 year gap between 55 and 65 and 55 and 67 before you start taking your pension. So again, you've gotta have a retirement income strategy, a retirement income plan for that time frame, all right? So you wanna know when your pension's gonna start and you wanna know about survivor's benefits. Now, survivor's benefits on pensions are for those of you who are married. And if you pass away, how much of your pension does your spouse get? Do they get 100% of your pension? Do they get 50% of your pension? Do they get 75%, 25%? You want to know and you want to make sure you make the best decision for both of you. A lot of times the HR department really doesn't give you any kind of advice. They give you a sheet of paper and they say, hey, pick your pension, pick your survivor benefit, good luck. You don't want to do that. You want to have a retirement income strategy that is tactical and prepares you for retirement and helps make sure that your retirement income lasts throughout your retirement. Now, let me give you a little plug. If you want me to do a complete Can I Retire for You, go to my website, yourfinancialekg.com. Actually, in the notes and the description of this podcast and video on YouTube, there's a link for the Roadmap to Retirement. It's a little booklet that I have that talks about retirement income. This is a great booklet for you to have just to give you the information. It's free. All you gotta do is go to my website, download it, get that booklet. And if you wanna talk to me, click the box that yes, I would like to talk to Drew, and we can put together a tactical and strategic retirement income plan for you. All right, so the number one thing you wanna know, what are my social security payments gonna be at 62, 67, and 70? The second number you need to know before retiring is what are my pension start dates and survivor's benefits? And the third number you need to know before you retire is what are my health insurance premiums going to be? Health insurance, oh my gosh, how expensive is health insurance in retirement? Especially if you're gonna retire at 55 or 60 before you get on Medicare. I was just doing some health insurance planning for a client yesterday. The spouse, the gentleman, he actually retired. He's 67, so he's going on Medicare. His spouse is 60, so she's not eligible for Medicare yet. His job did not let her keep his work insurance, so she has to go on to healthcare.gov and get a health insurance plan privately. Well, the cost for her health insurance plan was $414 a month. Now, they had a little bit of a subsidy because their income was a little lower and they were only going to be on Social Security. But think about that. $414 at 60 times that by 12, that's their annual premium. It's over $50,000 right? I'm sorry, over $5,000. And so you've got to look at this and say, what's my health insurance premium going to be? Because I need to know that number in order to get to Medicare. So for them, we know that her health insurance premium is going to be somewhere between $414 and probably six and $700 as she gets older. And because of that, we have to plan that into her retirement income plan. We need to plan in how much of your retirement assets are going to be used for health insurance. And if you are retired, if you're going on Medicare, you want to know, am I going to use a Medicare Advantage plan, which is usually zero out of pocket, or am I going to use a Medicare Supplement plan, which is somewhere between 170 and 250, between, depending on the state, in monthly premiums? And then what are the costs associated with health care, health insurance, 
health care, health care services, the inflation on those prices is 7%, meaning health care costs rise at 7% every year. Well, you don't get a 7% increase in your Social Security COLA. You don't always get a 7% increase in your market investments. So you need to know what are my health care costs going to be and are they budgeted into my retirement plan. Okay, so number one, What's my social security going to be at 62, 67, and 70? The second number you want to know, what are my pension start dates? And what are my survivor's benefits? And number three, what is my health insurance premium going to be? Or my health insurance cost going to be in retirement? The fourth thing that you want to know, the fourth number that you want to know before getting into retirement is how long will my retirement income last? Now that sounds really silly, right? How long is my retirement income going to last? But you want to know this number. I can't tell you how many clients become clients of mine and we start doing their retirement income planning using their retirement investments and we use a proprietary system called the Your Financial EKG. We're stress testing their retirement to see how long their money's going to last. And we get to the end and I go, Guys, unfortunately, the way you're spending money, the way your retirement income is set up, you're going to run out of money in your mid-80s. And they go, oh my gosh, I never realized that. And I said, yeah, because we need to make sure you have a retirement income plan that's going to last well beyond your hundreds. Because listen, many of you might tell me, I get, I get so many people who tell me they're not going to live past a certain age. You don't know that. Only God knows that. He only knows when your checkout date is. And because of longevity, because of health care increases, you might live well past 90. And so you need a retirement income plan that's going to get you well past 90, even into your hundreds. Okay? How long will my retirement income last? How many, how many of you plan a vacation and know down to the penny how much you're going to spend on that vacation? Well... You want to know how long your retirement income is going to last and you want to know down to the penny. And if you don't know how to do that, go to my website, Your Financial EKG. Let us put together a Can I Retire, a Your Financial EKG specifically for you to let you know how long your retirement income is going to last. And make sure you download the booklet, The Roadmap to Retirement. It is below in the notes. Okay. Four numbers that you need to know before you retire. Number one, what is my Social Security going to be at 62, 67, and 70? Number two, what are my pension start dates and survivor's benefits? Number three, what's my health insurance premium and my health care costs going to be? And number four, how long will my retirement income last? Okay? Thank you so much for watching the Your Financial EKG podcast on YouTube. Thank you for listening on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Make sure you give me a five-star rating if you're listening on Apple, Google, or Spotify. And make sure you subscribe and like this video if you're on YouTube. Again, thank you so much. Hope this has helped in your retirement journey. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.